Shabrika Bailey says this is not the first time, but mumbling through a broken jaw wired shut, she says this will be the last. Still living your life and getting your fame here left with this time literally a broken face. She's talking about her on again, off again boyfriend, TCU and NFL star Trevon Boykin. Off again forever, she says, after last Tuesday night at his home in Mansfield. I remember just choking me in the pressure of my heart till I just I remember just collapsing completely. And I just woke up in a puddle of blood on the kitchen floor. She says hours later, Boykin did take her to a hospital 30 miles away near her home in Mesquite, but that he didn't stick around. Yet he left when hospital staff started asking questions. He left you at the hospital? He left me at the hospital. So he didn't stay with you? Didn't stay. Has he come to see you and come check on you? No. Her jaw broken in three places, her airway swollen, making it difficult to breathe. She was taken by helicopter to Parkland Hospital in Dallas, where she stayed for three days. And she says these are text messages from Boykin, suggesting she tell everyone she fell or that say you had a fight with a female. We don't need another problem. And of course, his football career is on the line. That's his main goal, just my football career is on the line. Within an hour of our report Tuesday morning, just after we watched Mansfield police detectives arrive at Bailey's home to interview her, the Seattle Seahawks cut Boykin from the team. It's his third run-in with police, an incident in San Antonio in 2016 where he punched a police officer, and he and Bailey were both arrested March of last year when she backed her car into the side of an uptown nightclub injuring several people. Now she says on that night she was trying to protect Boykin's image too. He leaned over, attacked me, and choked me unconscious, which made the car going to drive to reverse. Why didn't you say that a year ago? I was just scared, terrified. Yes, I know I'm probably just dumb and shouldn't have did it the first time, but this time you could have killed me, like, completely. Mansfield police confirmed they are investigating Boykin for family violence aggravated assault. An accusation made by this former girlfriend who says she will not cover for him anymore. You can't keep doing this and it's not cool to constantly like make me the victim. And you get away with it. In Mesquite, Kevin Reese, Channel 8 News.